Welcome back. This is Still Campus 360 with me, Diana Nichiga. Now, in our news and focus segment, we get up close with your favorite chemistry teacher, Wizzy One. He shares with us how the teaching journey has been for him so far. So, Wizzy One, thank you for agreeing to speak with us. So, please tell us who is Wizzy One. Tell us about yourself. Thank you for the opportunity. Wizzy One, as they know it, is Wizzy One. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Wizzy One? <laughs> so, my name is Wisdom Agbesinyale. The Agbesinyale simply means if there is life, there is hope. Chap. So, that one too is an internal motivation to me as a person. Yes. Once upon a time, I went for an interview, and then when I mentioned the name, they said, What is the meaning of the name? I said, There is life, there is hope. So they said, so if we don't offer you the job, you will not go and hang yourself. I said, ah, why would I hang myself? If there is life, there is, there hope. is hope. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, so tell us about yourself. Growing yes, so up, schools you attended. Born in Akachi in the Vota region some years ago. Then through school. My schooling has a lot of breakages, but God being so good, Whenever there is a breakage, God will say, hey, my son, get up. I'm with you. So put the pieces together. So I had to put the pieces together and move on. There were, I dropped out of school, secondary school. So by then I was in Tamale. So I started my secondary school in Ghana, secondary school in Tamale. Yeah, from there I dropped out of school, came back to Accra, took uh, uh, a private courses at, uh, in science. So I had to write private exams. So if you see my senior high school certificate, there's no school name on it because I took a private exam to get into the University of Cape Coast, uh, 2016 to, sorry, uh, 2006 to 2010, yes. And I went to read chemistry. Now, why did you go to read chemistry? When I was taking my, my subjects at Action Progressive Institute, there was one chemistry teacher who taught me chemistry. I said, wow. You fell in love with it all of a sudden. Exactly. I said, wow, this is beautiful. So after the class, I went to him. I said, sir, I want to go and do uh, chemistry at the university. He said, OK, that's fine. If I will encourage any student to read a course, then no other course than chemistry. I said, okay. However, there was another teacher. I told him, I want to read chemistry. He said, hey, you can you read chemistry? Chemistry is very difficult too. Now, diverging views or advices, where will you go? You have to choose one. Where will you go? So I decided to face it. And I faced it. And here I am today teaching chemistry. Okay, so you said you were born in the Volta region. Yeah. How did you end up at Amali? Hey, as for me, I'm very, very adventurous. Okay. Yeah, very, very. So I like traveling a lot. We were in Ashima, so I got a friend who was transferred to Yendi in the northern region. So when, as I said already, a lot of breakages and pieces. So I went to him to stay with him in Yendi. So there I had my junior high school, then uh, GHS, uh, uh, junior secondary school. GHS, JSS, yes, JSS, back then it was JSS. Exactly, <laughs> at EP school in, in Yendi. So from there he was transferred to Tamale. When we were choosing schools, I chose some schools in the south, but when the results came, my first choice, I chose the, my secondary school. My boss said he has no money to sponsor me in that school, so he has to go and look for a school for me in Tamale, and I ended up in Ghana Secondary School. Okay. So from there, I dropped out of school, came back to Accra for almost two years before 
I decided to. So what what motivated you to come to Accra for greener pastures? Because you heard Accra, you could no, easily no. get a job or oh, something no. to support yourself. No, really, I lived in Accra before I left. Okay. Because the man I went to in Yendi was living in Accra, so I know Accra life. Okay, so yeah. from the Volta region, you came to Accra, Accra a bit before you went to Tamale. Exactly. Okay, okay. That's from nice. Yendi to Tamale, Tamale and then good. back to Accra. Okay, nice. Oh, because of a better tomorrow. Uh -huh. So what motivated you to become a teacher? I mean, the other professions. Why did you choose the teaching profession? Yes. I did chemistry. Uh, before then, I wanted to do pharmacy but I realized that pharmacy large part of pharmacy is chemistry so I wanted to have a general background so I did to I went to do chemistry and then teaching is my hobby so at, at, at what age did you realize you love to teach oh at the, at the uh, senior high school yes because after my private exam was the private exams I was teaching some people and they also went to write and they even came to meet me in my department as first year student. By then I was in the second year at the university. So which training college did you go to? Oh no, no, no. I didn't go Use to the training, training, training college. college. After the exams I entered the university straight. Which university? Cape Coast, University of Cape Coast. Okay, yes. great. So I did BSc chemistry at the University of Cape Coast. Okay, so now you're going to tell me how you got the name Wizzy One. Wizzy One, the one there started from the university. Okay. Because I was the national president for Ghana Chemical Society in my department, where yearly, if you are a national president, you have to hold a national conference where other member universities, students come. Yeah, so from there, my other executive, my organizers, my secretaries, the way the challenges were, they say, oh, President one, President one, President Bakupe. So after school, I went for national service. I went to BA for national service, and I ended up in Amantin Senior High School. So the name Wisdom was also shortened as people call me a weasel, a wizzy, a wizzy, and so on and so forth. So looking at the output as a national service student, uh, national service person, Personal, yeah. the student came by the name Wizzy Bakupe, Wizzy Bakupe, Wizzy Bakupe, and it has Students become, will always give you names. Uh, yes. <laughs> It has become a household name. Okay. So most people call me Wizzy, 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 Wizzy. So that is how the Wizzy came. And then the one is very important to me. <laughs> Wizzy Bakope. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so tell us some of the challenges you encountered as a journey, your teaching journey, some of the challenges you encountered and how you overcame those challenges. Uh, but, but you did ask me why I went to... BA for my national service. Now the reason is that no, I want to tell you that's why. Okay, tell me. The reason is that I have been to all the regions in Ghana with the exception of B. BA. Uh -huh. So I've been hearing BA is a nice place, BA is a nice place. And I said, okay, that will be my last region to visit. So my national service, I want to go to BA. Wow. So that is the main reason why I went to be a for my national service. Nice, nice. Yes. So I can see you love to travel. <laughs> yes, to yes. experience everything. Yes, yes, yes. Traveling is, is very, very interesting. Nice. Because nice, you nice. see nature, you yeah. identify yourself with nature, and you see the beauty of God That's in true. nature. That's true. Yes. Okay, so... Back so back to the challenges. <laughs> very, very. Because you can just imagine... Even one human being, managing one human being is not easy. Not easy, true. Now here you are, as a teacher, you have about, say, 200 students. And the 200 students, I refer to them as characters. So 200 characters that you have to bring up to almost the same level. Because at the end of the day, 
their yeah, performance the will be measured by your output. Yeah. So it's very, very challenging. Knowing your students, they are learning abilities, capabilities. They have different, different ways of learning. Mm -hmm. So it's a big challenge as a teacher. But we thank God. God has been with us. We manage them, then present them because after three years they exit, a new set of people come in and the whole lot. There are more. If we want to talk about it, that one will be a different subject matter. Yes. So how, how do you handle difficult children? Because I know we have some students that are very difficult, very stubborn. How do you handle students like that? Yes. I always say that we are the product of our past. If somebody is difficult, once upon a time, you have to sit down and ask yourself, why is this person is? Why is he the way he is? And through that, you might have some answers. It could be the home he is coming from. The, though a young person, we are all experiencing a lot of stress and challenges. Maybe the home is, he is coming from. And then peer pressures and a whole lot of things. So such people, sometimes I just look and smile. Yes. But you have to offer your little advice that you have. Because at the end of the day, you want to see every one of them progressing. And that is the joy of the teacher. So you can't leave anyone behind. No matter what, you must try and bring him along. So at the end of the day, it is war. <laughs> okay, so how do you see yourself in the future, in the teaching profession? Yes. As a teacher, and moving forward, it's a whole lot of task, and we must prepare ourselves for it. Because before, before, the teacher is saying as he knows it all. But today, there is a paradigm shift where we are moving from the teacher-centered way of teaching and then we are moving to the student-centered teaching where the student must be involved in the lesson. I always tell my students, you, you have to know more than I am. They say, ah, sir, how can we know more than I am? I say, yes, because I am teaching you, therefore you have to progress. So they are like, hey, no. I say, yes. So they must get involved that will be fine then this also comes technology and it's not always in the physical classroom when the pandemic came in that is where you have to really experience the the your inadequacy because you were in the classroom in the now no more physical classroom what do you do you must find other ways so technology so during the pandemic lockdown we were using technology, we were using Zoom. So just imagine if I were not to be technologically inclined, what would have happened? I would have been sitting down and my children would also be sitting down doing nothing. So quickly we get the Zoom app and then along the line I engage them on Zoom until they return to school. So technology is very important. The pandemic has taught us a, a lesson as teachers. So I'm really, really inclined with technology. So no matter how the, the trend is going to change, whether we are moving completely into the virtual classroom, I am ready for it. If we are using both virtual and physical, I am ready for it. Okay, so yeah. do you have plans to maybe progress to be a lecturer in the university, a professor? Do you have plans no. like that? No, no, not really. But life can come with different things yeah. but for now i love this senior high school is a transition state for for the children where from here they enter the university so i like influencing the young minds through the chemical sciences so for now i want to be with the young ones okay yes Great. yes so if you didn't choose the teaching profession what else do you think you would have Yes, okay. doing chemistry, I can, I can be in the industry. And of okay. course, the quality control officer, I would have been there, okay. maybe in one of the pharmaceutical industries in Ghana. Okay. Uh, because teaching is my hobby 
I, I enjoy it. Yes. So you have been a chemist? Yes. Okay. In the, yeah, in the industry. You have your own uh, pharmacy? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Nice one. Nice yes. one. That's, yes. that's nice. Yes. So how did you get introduced to the Joy Learning Channel? Joy Learning? Work. I don't compromise on standards. I, I, I am a hyperactive person. Always a lot of energy and vigor. So as for me, since teaching is my hobby, I go about my work as much as I can. So I was recommended by somebody I don't even know to our coordinator of joint learning. Yes. So I was there and a colleague called me. Hey, a man came to the school and said he was looking for you, joint learning channel. They say they want teachers, chemistry, and other subjects. I said, okay. So later on, we, I got in touch with him, and that was how I got to be introduced to Joy Learning. Joy Learning, yes. nice. So how has the experience been for you since you joined Joy Learning? How many lives, or in terms of students, have you impacted? Right. Joy Learning, Joy, joy Learning is a new way of doing things, because this one, you are there alone in the studio, and camera is on you. You can't play around mm. because the moment you make a mistake, it's picked up by the camera. So you have to put your thoughts together well. You are not in the physical ca classroom where you are face to face with your student. When you do something, the child will quickly ask a question for further explanation. So this one, you must put your viewers in mind. If I teach this way, what will be the question they will ask? If I teach that way, what would be the question they will ask? So you have to, you are, you are like, you are teaching, being asked a question, and you are answering. So you must teach in a way that at the end of the day, the one who is viewing will not have any question to ask. Okay, it's true. Yes. So we enjoy learning a lot of experiences that I have added to my existing ones, because from the physical classroom into, I don't know whether I should call it a virtual, <laughs> a virtual one or something. <laughs> but how's the feedback been from the, yes. the learners? How's the, the feedback The been? feedback, I would say it is good because my students, oh, they will say, oh, say we have seen you, we are so grateful. We have seen you enjoying learning. We are so proud of you. Because if my teacher is on TV teaching, then as a student, yes. I'm the best of, of, of them all. Yes. Okay. So the feedback has been encouraging. But with that feedback or not, we have to impact. So, do your work. That's true. so the number of lives impacted, it, it, you can just uh, reason with me that they can't be counted. You can't count them. They are enormous. Because when I'm teaching, I bring in some how chemistry is everyday life. You see, the food we eat, everything is about chemistry. So let's say, for example, you are passing by a man or somebody calls you, come, let me perform a magic for you. I will turn wine into water. You turn wine into water, are you Jesus Christ? So to the chemist, it's a simple redox reaction. That you have permanganate, that is purple. If you don't take care, you think that it's wine. Then acidified uh, iron 2 sulfate. When you add them, it changes the purple to colorless. Okay. And that is redox reaction. So if somebody, non science person or whoever, mother, father, a little one watches this, he or she cannot be deceived out there by a, magi a so called magician. You see. So whoever will watch this one can learn something. Though he or she is, going, is not going to learn for examination, but you get it. Uh -huh. The other example is radical reaction of our kings. As you are sitting, as I'm sitting, we have radicals in our bodies because our, there is metabolism in our body that has food breaking down so that it can be absorbed for, so that I have the energy to talk with you, you also have the energy. <laughs> and so on and so forth. We go through the sun, there is 
such in our bodies. So we can suffer um, oxidative stress. So you experience stress, I experience stress, everybody experiences stress. So when you know this, sometimes you are down and somebody will ask you, what is wrong with you? You can't even explain. That's endogenous stress. Ish. <laughs> yes, it's, the stress is within. You okay. can't explain, explain to anyone it. what I thought is wrong with you. You see, oxidative stress. So if somebody watches this and such is happening, the person will know how best he or she can manage himself for at work, at home and everywhere. Okay, so it looks like chemistry is part of our everyday life. Thank you. So I always tell my students, chemistry is everyday life. As you go, you come, you are experiencing it. So when you see it like this, learning it becomes so fun, so beautiful. And we move on. Okay, we easy one. Thank yes. you so much for speaking to us. It's been great talking to you. And for your learners out there, you just heard who Wizzy One is and his ups and downs and what he has been through for him to get this far. So, it's bye from Wizzy One and I. Bye. <laughs> now let's take you through the lessons we have for you this week on Joy Learning. This week on Joy Learning, JHS lessons are from Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. With a repeat at 6.30 a.m. Monday, JHS 1, ICT, Internet and the World Wide Web. Tuesday, JHS 1, Mathematics, Capacity. Wednesday, JHS 1, French, Prepositions. Thursday, JHS 2, English Language, Prose. Friday, JHS 2, French. JHS3 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. with a repeat at 2 p.m. Monday, ICT, Spreadsheet Application. Tuesday, Integrated Science, Farming Systems. Wednesday, Social Studies, Managing Our Finances. Thursday, French. Friday, Mathematics, Statistics and Probability. SHS1 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 3 p.m. with a repeat at 7.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. Monday, Literature and English, Types of Poetry. Tuesday, Physics, Velocity, Time Graphs. Wednesday, Financial Accounting, Petty Cash Book. Thursday, Chemistry, Concept of Solution. Friday, Biology, Science. SHS 2 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. with a repeat at 8.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Monday, Physics, Machines. Tuesday, Government, Traditional Governance in Ghana. Wednesday, Financial Accounting, Depreciation. Thursday, English Language, Functional Types of Sentences. Friday, Elective Maths, Indices and Logarithms. SHS3 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 7.30 p.m. with a repeat at 10 a.m. Monday, Literature, Drama, Look Back in Anger. Tuesday, Elective Math, Rational Functions. Wednesday, Economics, Public Finance. Thursday, Cost Accounting, Marginal and Absorption Costing. Friday, Science, Atomic Structure. For more videos on our lessons, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Joy Learning TV and on Instagram at Joy underscore Learning TV. Joy Learning at One, celebrating a year of impactful television teaching and learning. Joy Learning. Keep learning. Now the much-awaited trivia radio draw will be on the 27th December 2021. I am sure you can't wait to win amazing prizes from us. These are the qualifiers who made it to the draw. The qualifiers for week one under Facebook. Federica Amwa, Nicodemus Okomonkwe, Prosper Kanijen, Inkum Kennedy, Gifty Ama for Instagram, Isaac Sarkodie, Enu Emmanuel, Anka Gifty, Joseph Ojo, Abrifa Emmanuel, and for Twitter, David Fosu, Adi Rudolph, Veronica Anissa, Joseph Ojo from Pong, Kofi Osei Oche. For week two under Facebook, 
Silas Tufo, Gloria Asirifi, Isaac Prempe, Akoto Oheneba Efri, David Cromwell. For Instagram, Randy Nana Ousu Eje, Emmanuel Nyako, Dennis Frempe Mbonsi, Kennedy Jala, Abdul Samid Eje. And for Twitter, Akosia Ajipon, Jessica Sapon, Nanedu SL, Edmond Ousu, Dominic Molana. And for week three, under Facebook, Asari Akoto, Sulemana Mutikahatu, Prince Ampoma, George Nanedu, Abigail Bafo. For Instagram, Abdul Hakim Al Hassan, Isaac Befi, Nyaku Peter, Dorothy Boateng, Tano Grace. And for Twitter, Abdul Samid AJ, Ferdinand Setre, Yakubu Ismaila, Akondi Williams, Mark Fofi. Now the Joy Learning Essay Competition is back and more exciting. Already, there are over 100 entries. Remember the topic for the competition. is write an essay narrating a memorable Christmas trip you once had with your family. You are to do this in no less than 300 words. Follow us on Facebook at Joy Learning TV. Go to the message box, send your essays as a direct message, or send the essays via our WhatsApp number 0247-108-738. You can also print your essay and submit it at the front desk of Joy FM. These are some of the schools that have submitted their essays so far. Rimbi Catholic School Complex, Harriam International School, Morningstar International School, Alphabeta School, Dansuman, St. Martin's de Porres. And for the SHS category, we have Prempe College, Nkrofu Agriculture Senior High School, Ebri Girls Senior High School, Keta Senior High School, Obwasi Senior High School. Let's wait on the countdown as our chief examiners cross-examine the essays submitted already. So what are you waiting for? Send your essay now and stand the chance of winning amazing prizes. Well, that will be all for Campus 360 this week on Joy Learning. Make time with us same time next week. I am Diana Nichiga. And have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thanks for watching.